So Nikki, how many weeks has it been since we fitted the saddle? It's been seven or eight weeks since yeah. you saw him. I mean, he was a real challenge. I mean, um, probably one of the toughest horses, horses I've had to fit in a long time. As you know, we spent four hours together, three to four hours um, fitting the pony with different saddles that we've got, um, different trees. And um, I mean, how sensitive was he? I mean, we put saddles on and from what would he do? Some of the things I saw, he was... Yeah, I wouldn't have said before that saddle fitting that he was a super sensitive horse. Yeah. But through that whole process, the three and a half hours to four hours that it took, mm. it became so obvious what he was happy with and what he was not yeah. happy with. And I think probably I'd ridden him for a couple of months prior bareback because I knew the saddle that I had wasn't right. Mm. And because I'd gone through that, he knew what it was supposed to feel like when he worked and lifted his Without a saddle. Mm when it didn't hurt him, didn't hurt yeah. Him, yeah. So then when we were trying saddles, as soon as a saddle seemingly sort of was wide enough and looked like it was right and we thought, oh, we'll give it a go, yeah. you could tell straight away because he would, he grew, he would jack up, he would push his tail, he'd yeah. bunch his whole back up. And the head was coming up a bit, wasn't it? Yeah, he'd almost try and push the saddle up his ears. Yeah. yeah. That's what it felt I like. I remember the day, I mean, just from one saddle to another, he, he, he just, within a few strides from the to trip, Walk to try to trot to canter transitions, he just kicked his back legs down, pick it up in the air, and yep. straight away, take the saddle off, ride him bareback, and he was fine. So, um, it's six, you know, six weeks, how much has changed in the pony? And because you had some issues with yourself as well, didn't you, in the last uh, Yeah, I've been seeing the osteo every two to three weeks, mm -hmm. and I'd been to a physio, and we were at the stage where we were, for me, looking at doing some scans and going to some fancy guy in mm -hmm. at Olympic Park. And um, we couldn't pinpoint what it was that was the issue. That's why we were going to investigate further. And um, I, I sort of had an inkling. I knew the saddle wasn't right for him, and it really shifted the mm. one that I had. Um, so it was sitting side. crooked too, wasn't it? Yeah, I was sitting crooked. Yeah. And um, so I rode bareback, and funnily enough, you'd think if you had a bad back and a bad hip, bareback would make it worse. Yeah. But in actual fact, I got relief from it. Yeah. Then we got this saddle, and I haven't looked back. I think I've seen my osteo once. Yeah. So your back pain's gone away as well. Yeah. He's a lot happier. And I noticed too, before you put the saddle on, you mentioned he's, he's really broadened out here behind the shoulders in the yeah. area, isn't he? Yeah. And it's yeah. really, the muscles here, are, whilst they've grown, they're really soft and plump. Yeah. Whereas before, um, they were hard to, they were almost like flattened and hard. Tense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and tense the whole time. Yeah. And even though he really didn't show a huge amount of soreness there, there was just no real blood flow or, it just obviously wasn't healthy tissue. No. No, it's amazing. I mean, and, and up until you caught up with me, I mean, um, I know I made you sell a long time ago. Yeah, 20, 20, yeah. probably 25 years ago. Yeah, maybe. 25 years, yeah. Geez, time flies. <laughs> but, you know, you come back with a pony and, um, well, he's like a miniature dressage horse. He looks that well when he's going around. Mm. But, um, you know, you were told before um, that it was your pony, it was you, it wasn't yep. the saddle. Yep. But, you know, I mean, of course, it's kind of, Good. It's a whole circle. It's everything. It? Rider, yep. pony, feet, shoes, gone, teeth, everything. Yep. You know? We had gone through yeah. everything. And I thought, you know, I was doing the right thing. And I had regular, mm. well, more than regular saddle fitting happening. Mm. But we just couldn't get the saddle that I had yeah. to fit. So that's great news. And um, he's, he's in a lot no more relaxed. Yeah, yeah. No stopping us. No stopping us. <laughs> so that's a good story. Yeah. And um, anyone out there with the similar problems with ponies or even larger horses as well. It's um, any horse going crooked or riders with sore backs. It's not always just um, the, the, the pony or the, or the riders, it's often the saddle as well. So see you out there.